Massive structures are the standard in the United States where people expect everything to be extra large. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California is one of the most renowned bridges in the world. It's a different story in China where engineers are pulling off highways and gigantic bridges that have astonished American peers. Hey everyone, this is Tech Revolution. In this video, let's take a look at China's highway and bridge engineering that shocks American scientists. Since the dawn of time, humans have been constructing roads and bridges around the world. The Nakasendo Highway in Japan, which connects Kyoto and Edo, was constructed in the 17th century along the path of an earlier pathway. Along the beaches of Lake Biwa, over mountain ranges, and down onto the Kanto Plain near Edo, it was designed for horses and pedestrians as the Japanese did not utilize carts. It runs for 310 miles. Additionally, the Arkadiko Bridge, sometimes referred to as the Kazarma Bridge, is said by many people to be the world's oldest bridge still in use today. Even more remarkable is that this arch bridge was erected between 1300 and 1190 BCE. This Arkadiko Bridge was part of a route that connected Tiryns with Epidaurus in the Mycenaean periods or the latter phase of the Greek Bronze Age between 1600 and 1100 BCE. However, the Arkadiko Bridge was a far cry from what we see now in bridge construction. Bridges are becoming more and more sophisticated as well as more and more expensive. Let's head to China where highway and bridge construction has grown to enormous proportions with technical achievements that are tough to match everywhere else. Highways Faster expansion of the Chinese highway system was linked to decentralization of infrastructure expenditures. According to Dr. Miguel Hidalgo Martinez of Jian Jiantong Liverpool University, who teaches at the department's China Studies program, before this, regional governments funded and managed China's roadways individually. Eventually, China's central government realized that the country's road infrastructure was not serving the country's economic interests at all. Consequently, in the 1990s, the government acquired financial responsibility for road construction as part of significant economic changes. Martinez cites China's highway system as an example of how well-managed central infrastructure expenditures may fight regionalism. A national strategy may distribute economic benefits more fairly across the country. This year, there is a new national expressway that connects three major arteries in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in northwest China. G575, the 76-kilometer route that connects the north and south of the Tianjin Mountains in Xinjiang, is a major transportation project. It links the three significant land transportation routes, a national highway, two expressways, and a large interstate highway. Next up is the first desert expressway in China's Ningxia province. It goes through the Tengger, China's fourth largest desert, and is now open to traffic. Ningxia's first desert road runs 122.99 kilometers across the Tengger Desert's hinterland, including an 18-kilometer segment. Bridges The Qishui River Bridge is 350 meters above the water. There was a pressing need for a solid link between the Zhangzi Gu and the Zugu Expressways of Guzhu and Sichuan. When the Chinese government intended to enhance economic growth in these two regions, at the cost of $2 billion, the bridge would span the whole width of the Qishui River. The entire distance traveled was just over 2 kilometers. The towering bridge was designed, produced, and built by Sichuan Road and Bridge under a 360-degree contract. However, the location couldn't be worse. No matter how hard they tried, they couldn't navigate the twisting hilly site. A cliff and a requirement for a maximum elevation of 350 meters tested the team's creativity on the Sichuan side. There was a lot of danger even in the collapsed zones and rocky and karst places. On the other hand, Sichuan saved 19 months of building time and days of design work because of cutting-edge technology. Qishui River Bridge is scheduled to open by the end of the year. In addition, the firm could save more than $2 million from its budget. 
Due to their efforts, they could minimize the bridge tower foundation by 30% and lessen the amount of earthwork required. The Green Juice Bridge is the next Chinese wonder bridge. It is the world's first single span, single tower suspension bridge. By building a bridge between Yuxi and Chuxiongyi Autonomous Prefecture in Yunnan, travelers will save significant time on their journeys. Green Juice Bridge is essential to the networks of the Yushu Expressway and Yunnan Highway, in addition to the Hangzhou Ruili Expressway and the Guangzhou Kunming Expressway. The Yushu Expressway connects Yunnan to other critical national expressways. Additionally, these bridges are a marvel in terms of their size and speed of construction. After just three years of work, this Green Juice Bridge has finally been finished. The Green Bridge, which is merely 798 meters long, does not hold any record for length, but it is a technical wonder and of itself. One tower holds the Green Juice Bridge, making it the world's first single tower, single span suspension bridge. Cables hold the ends in place. As a result, there are no more rows. Engineers may have been baffled when they created a bridge that seems like it defies gravity. The world's steepest tunnel anchorage, which is tilted at 54 degrees, is another record held by this bridge. The 156-meter high tower, the bridge approach on one side, and the tunnel anchoring on the other end had to be built straight into very steep slopes which complicated the design and construction. The bridge deck and the assembly are separated by 320 meters or the height of a 100-story skyscraper. The Green Juice Bridge stands out even amid the many Chinese bridges. On March 9, the final piece of steel box girder was put into position, marking a significant milestone in the building process. The new bridge, scheduled to open last April, has a speed restriction of 100 km per hour. But that will just give drivers more time to take in the breathtaking views from the bridge. It seems that Chinese engineers won't build bridges that don't break records. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, or HZMB, is the world's longest sea crossing bridge and tunnel system. Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai are all connected by this huge bridge, which spans 55 kilometers. Visitors and visitors to Hong Kong had to take ferries before it was created. The giant bridge was designed by China to establish a greater Bay Area that includes Hong Kong, Macau, and nine other cities in China. Nearly 70 million people live in the area. It used to take four hours to go from Zhuhai to Hong Kong, but the HZMB has made it just 30 minutes. The HZMB, which opened to traffic in 2018, cost a stunning $20 billion. About 400,000 tons of steel were utilized in the construction to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. The bridge's complete length spans the Pearl River Delta Sea for around 30 kilometers of its overall distance. A 6.6-kilometer portion in the center, connecting two artificial islands, is submerged into an undersea tunnel to allow ships to pass. The remaining parts of the bridge connect Zhuhai and Hong Kong to the main span through link highways, viaducts, and land tunnels. The government estimates it will need to spend almost $30 million annually to keep the bridge in top shape. But wait, what does China use to build these sophisticated roads and bridges? Unmanned road pavers and rollers are being used by contractors in China to construct highways and bridges. Sensors such as millimeter wave radar and GPS let the machines navigate their way across the terrain. According to China's official news agency, Xinhua, the vehicles are managed remotely from a central data center. The technology was made by Zhuzhou Construction Machinery Group, the Sichuan Railway Investment Group, and Xinhua University. Engineers from a nearby institution created the brain of the autonomous vehicle. Now it's incredible to think that from 2011 to 2018, an average of 6,000 miles of roadways and bridges were built per year in China. Yes, that's a yearly average of 6,000 miles. And recent information shows that the nation's highway network is now 149,600 kilometers long, making it the longest in the world. Based on all this information, do you think the United States should catch up with China's speed and technology regarding highway and bridge construction? 
Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And you've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to like this video and see you next time.